NICEAFE is a local homeless charity providing housing services to homeless young people aged 16 to 24 years old, offering a variety of housing options and services to young people. Currently running an emergency night shelter with five spare rooms, two supporting houses, one in Darwin, also known as Cornfield Cliff, and the other one in Blackburn, also known as Whitton Project, plus a day center, also known as Platform 5, open each weekday to all young people who are homeless or living in unsettled accommodation and need support to regain in the community. The center offers basic facility laundries, a shower room, storage, internet access, and lunch. But the most important things of all these projects is that there is always someone to listen and talk to. When I'm off, I usually woke up by quarter to ten. I watch telly for a couple of hours. Sometimes I'm reading a book, editing, or just checking my social networks. Then I go straight to the bathroom and have a shower. Once it's 30 minutes past 3, I usually get ready for my shift. So I pack my food, I pack my clothes and other things I'm gonna need for my shift. I wait my other college or the other volunteer who is on shift with me that night. And we head ourselves to the shelter. Oh, when you know your um, the enchiladas you made the other night. Yeah. I said, oh, with that. Well, it's got a pile of likes on that. Yeah. I saw that and I was like, what's that? 1,700 people have seen that. Oh, that's and we had, we've had loads of likes and, and loves and all sorts. So oh, it's a very oh. popular house. So thank you very much for that picture. Welcome. All works out really well. All right, Hi. I'll stop waffling at you now and take you up like you. Yeah. Right. I'm just gonna help you. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Extra help. We don't know. Theoretically, yes, but I'm doing battle with children's services at the minute. Okay, so tomorrow. It's blooming cold, isn't it? I don't know. We're just trying to make a moral decision here, yeah. rather than a business one. We're struggling a bit. Yeah. So we just, we don't know. We'll find out tomorrow morning. You will indeed. You might even only find out tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. I'll be gone with her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a last year or two. Yeah. 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 My dad's coming oh, yeah. with me. I'll, yeah. I'll give you a hug when you come back through because I'm not going to be first thing in the morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. It's a good job you dropped that in. Isn't I know. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Go. That's That's nice. Nice. Once we arrive on shift, staff office give us all updates about the residents who are staying at that moment. Any housing appointments, any information of a new resident, and seven pounds cash to buy food for the residents. Seven pounds cash is not enough to feed five people. We usually get milk donation, eggs, and local food, and that's really kind, so that helps a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Take your change. Every oh, time someone is recording me, I'm wearing my like a beanie. Did you notice this is a new one? It is. It's blue. Yeah, it's nice. I like the color. Yeah. 
I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we can be true, we can be true. I want you to see what I see in us, something so real, something so real. I want you to see that this is a love that we both feel, that we both feel. And how will we ever know if the love will ever grow without trying, without trying? And how will we ever see if we are meant to be? It's terrifying, it's terrifying. right now I'm heading to the flat but first I'm gonna go to the shop I will buy some vegetables I will make a vegetable soup soup because I think I will get a cold so I'm preventing right now taking some pills eating some vegetable and drinking a lot of water yeah uh, it's, it's really cold right now it's foggy also but it's not raining which is good um, also my last shift, well it was not my last shift, but the last shift uh, was really good. Um, the young people staying there is amazing, it's nice to talk with them, you engage really well with them. Obviously not all the shifts are like that, but it's cool, <laughs> it's great. Right now I'm walking through the town centre and I'll go to the shop. Well, hi guys. In my last post in my YouTube channel, I said that I would do something about my life experience here in the UK. So this is the video about what I'm doing here. Um, it has been a really nice experience. So this is what I decided to share with you. Uh, you're not going to see us working here with young people. This is due to a policy of confidential information or uh, information confidence. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope you understand this. Um, it's a nice experience, really it is. It's really rewarding at the end of the day. Um, if you have the chance about, of, you know, if you have the chance of working with young people, homeless people, um, old people, I don't know, maybe people with any disability, mental issue. There's lots of people who need help, so <laughs> this is, well, do it. It's a really nice experience. Um, I hope to have a chance to work again with um, another volunteer service and I don't know I will see you in another video thank you for watching I'm off today so I will make the most of this because um, I work really hard for this day off <laughs> so have a nice day um, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video see ya bye <laughs>